so happy today because I literally got up, got dressed in my exercise outfit, exercised, came upstairs, got breakfast, took all of the stuff that I needed to take, which was a lot of vitamins, and got my makeup on and everything. And then we filmed the podcast already. And what time is it? We're not even awake it's by this time. not even 10 a.m. This is usually when we're getting out of bed. Yeah. That's incredible. That It is a miracle. I'm telling you. Well, it was and like, I was thinking, even if I end up having a dependency on melatonin, which I don't think I will. No. I, that was something I looked up and they were yeah, like, no, it's fine. not an addictive thing. Um, but I was like, even if I did, would it be worth it so that I could have this life of like, you know, <laughs> like getting up early and being more productive than ever before? I think it'll be worth it. (laughs) One of the hardest things for me, like if I try to get into a better sleep schedule is I know that I have to go to bed earlier. Yeah. And a lot of times my body is just like, no, I'm not tired yet. Well, that's why melatonin is so good. That's the thing is like I lay down in bed and I'm like, I'm going to go to bed at 10 tonight. I lay down and I am awake until 4 Mm a.m. because I tried to go to bed too early. My body's punishing me for trying to go to bed too early. And I can tell you what I'm realizing. But I didn't take any melatonin last night. Yeah, and I, I think, only took sunset. And I was thinking, you know, I think I will be fine if I don't take it as long as I got up early that day. I think I, I will be normally like tired. I hope that's what I'm crossing my fingers for. And if I don't, if I'm not, then I'll just take some. You get what I'm saying? What? I went to bed at ten last night, and I didn't take melatonin. I only took sunset. That's amazing. And another I was miracle. able to fall I'm asleep. telling you. Yeah. <sighs> but we were talking about by you. that was why <laughs> it's easier to go to sleep when you're next to me <laughs> but we were talking last night we're like okay it's getting dark at like 5 p.m we have we like if we get up at 10 or if we don't get started till noon or one because we go work out in the mornings like we're gonna totally gym. miss like we're only gonna have four hours of film time and that's uh-huh. not enough it's to be not. as productive as we need to be. So we're going to have to get up earlier, which mm-hmm. means we have to go to bed earlier. Uh-huh. And so then we just So we had it. a talk with the kids. I was like, listen, you guys have to go to bed. Because a lot of the time, and I'm not just trying to like push blame on them, but like a lot of the time when I am ready to go to bed, they aren't. And right. then I feel like I can't go to sleep if my kids are awake. I just, it's like scary to me because i'm like what if they go outside or do something crazy yeah, yeah. like i want to be awake when they're awake and i've always been that way i can't fall asleep if they're still awake right unless he's like taking care of them and i really need to sleep or something but oh it scares me so i we had a talk with them we were like you guys have got to go to bed tonight earlier than normal because we are too and i said do you guys want to see us in the morning like because <laughs> they usually don't they usually don't. We usually get up and go to the gym and, and come home and, and it's noon. Usually when we get up in the morning, they already have been up for a couple hours. Yep. And it's usually because they're screaming that makes us get out of bed. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's not a very healthy, good No, it's way not healthy live. at all. <laughs>